Monday morning. All right, it's Monday. We're about uh, four, less than four weeks out for the fight. And uh, getting it on once again. So, no sparring today. I've been sparring almost every single time. Uh, I'm trying to uh, to uh, save a little bit for tonight. Got some more sparring partners coming in tonight. Got two days of training. Leaving Wednesday up to Milwaukee. Finish up the training camp up there. So, we're going to get it on. Let's go. Alright guys, alright the next part of training today is going to be closed off to the video blog show. We're going to do some specific training, getting too close to my fight to give it away. So, eh, going to be closed off, but if you want to see some similar kind of SPTs and SSTs, then you can go to ProMMATraining.com, see some uh, transitional and uh, specific training over there. had a couple extra people uh, come in today, uh, help me out for my camp, did a little photo shoot for Strengthzilla, got it on, got it, got into a little bit more energy system training, so we kept up a hard pace today, did a little burnout, it was pretty good, feeling good, feeling in shape, and uh, time to get it on, baby. My man Alan Belcher right here, throw some things, you know what the things are called? It's them bricks, <laughs> the bricks. What you gonna tell him? Are you gonna tell him let's go? Let's go, yeah. let's go for my Let's do it, let's do it, let's, let's do it. Are you ready? Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby! Woo! <laughs> Bricks! <laughs> Alabama, December something. Well, day 29. 29. 29. Get after it. That's right. Next man in the UFC right here. Next one's right there, Adrian. 
I'm going to be in the UFC too, in the crowd watching them. <laughs> so that's what it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, see them boys going to clown when it goes down. UFC fighter cover Ocean Springs town. At loud, where they slinging them weights. UFC coming, baby, just don't wait. Gonna knock them out. First round, what you think? I said, man, it's coming fast, so you better not blink. Adrian, spitting rhymes, lifting weights at Lyles, man, a good time. Out here, man, knock if you buck. Looking at the stuff, man, Lyles, flip the truck. If you don't work out hard, go home. This is how we doing, like thugs in the bone. All right, that's it, that's it, I got it. Hey, this is Dean Lister here with Alan Belcher, training for fights, showing you some inside seeking techniques. See you on the map. And the triangle, triangle, leg run, triangle, your leg. Look at this, this is the part we see this okay so something that can't hit my leg out by the way in a fight it's it, yeah you can do the fight but usually the guys he's gonna punch in the face or he's opening his feet and getting up to, to his to his uh, legs to get away so this is something i can't pass the guard what am i do this simple situation i take advantage of that right there i'm simply gonna i'm just gonna go oh let's, let's grab this and pretty much fights over it already now the thing is you don't want to do it like people teach it looks pretty but if i roll he can grab the same toll on me so why would i give him the same chance okay Truth be told, you want to try on your own legs. As I grab it here, I grab the little toe, and I reach out and grab here. Now just stay right there, just stay right there. Now this is, because he has a triangle, he cannot escape this move. It's a very, very wicked tear, right? Okay? This is not going to be as effective. Grab the toe, here. If his legs are not crossed, it doesn't work the same. This does not work the same now. You can try it, but it's not as effective. Triangle your legs. Someone's tight, I can't pass the guard. I try on my own legs. Grab, just sit right here and just turn, turn, turn. Very tight. Okay. That's a good move, I guess. Toe hold from the half guard against a guy with strong legs. Yeah, um, got an opportunity to go to Milwaukee, you know, with a couple of teammates with Alan Sharp, you know, Beast Mode, uh, and uh, Keith Johnson, old guy I know from Alabama, you know, to help Alan get ready for his fight. And uh, it was kind of um, tough because it was like short nose, and, and Alan said he needs us, you know, it'd be good for us to come up there. And, so everybody can look at us and, and see what our talent is. So hopefully, you know, it would be a good, you know, showing out party, you know, for me and Sharp and everybody else, you know, to get to that next level. Uh, yeah, it's the first time going to Dukes. Uh, know anything I, about the weather? Uh, it's going to be cold, cold. Sharp don't like cold weather. So uh, I got a, got a new, uh, we brought, brought me long johns, uh, some tights training, you know, make sure I'm warm. You know, I don't want, I don't want to get uh, freeze while I'm up there, you know. So, uh, but anyway, Duke, uh, you know, he's been down here before, training with him. Uh, he's a great instructor. Uh, but uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good time. What type of preparation did you have to make before leaving, like such short notice? Uh, short preparations. Uh, you know, had to, had to get, uh, had to get all my classes covered here at the gym and. Um, you know, uh, make sure it's all right with Mike. Uh, you know, make sure, make sure Mike. You know, see, sign got Mike signed off on today. It's all right for me, uh, me and Adrian to go. Dude, uh, Amy and Ben are awesome. Thanks for letting me stay here, guys. I really appreciate that. It means a lot to me. Um, man, they're really cool. Um, the Lamart's not here. The cameraman, Lamart, he did not come to Milwaukee. He will be here. 
he will be here for a few days. But right now it's just me and the iPhone. So that's why I haven't got you any footage the last couple of days. I've been slipping. But I was just really focused and pumped to do some training. So I went in there and uh, trained hard the last few days. Um, it's Sunday now. I trained Thursday and Friday. And uh, I got in some uh, some extra cardio to get my, my weight down. No, no, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday I went for a long, or Saturday I went for a long walk. Um, I'm waking up this morning, 205.4. Um, I will get some more training footage. But right now, training camp is on in full force. There's only a couple weeks left of training, so i got to make sure I don't get injured. But I want to... Oops. I want to turn it up. I want to turn it up and I want to bring the pain to Yushinokami. I want to put this dude away so fast that it's going to make a statement. And uh, he's, he's probably expecting me to bring it, but I'm going to bring it like knockout power every single punch, kick, and knee. He's not going to touch me. I'm telling you, my focus is on. I've, I've, I've began to master the mental part of this. I'm not that good, guys. I, my my, uh, my skills, you know, I've, I've worked hard and I've put a lot of time on the mat. So, you know, I, I, can, I can grapple and uh, my kickboxing, my athleticism and everything probably reached a peak years ago. I'm still strong. I'm getting stronger, I think. I'm getting older. But I'm, I'm getting wiser and I'm learning how to mentally do this. And my focus is just there. And, and uh, I don't know, I feel like I'm close to a title shot. Some people would argue, say I'm not good enough. Some people would say that I should have already, you know, been pushed. Why isn't the UFC pushing Alan Belcher or whatever? Who cares? The point is, I'm going to win. I'm going to keep winning. The division's got some openings right now. I'm going to try to stay busy in 2013. If I'm not hurt, knock on wood, after this fight, I will be ready to fight Vitor Belfort or Michael Bisping on last minute, short notice, if one of them gets hurt in Brazil. Okay? So, hold me to that. Mark my words. I'm ready to go. Take a trip to Brazil and whip one of those boys. Two wins in a row that fast. That should put me on the kind of momentum that I need to get a title shot. Uh, Weedman, Weidman, unfortunately, is hurt. Um, Tim Bosch, I know he has a tough opponent coming up, but uh, those guys are not in my league. <coughs> um, who else we got? Lombard and Paul Harris. We'll see. We'll see what happens right there. Um, hopefully Paul Harris wins. That it's going to take care of both of those guys for me. Um, I don't mind. I believe I can beat Hector Lombard, but uh, I'd rather just uh, get get him out of my way for now. But uh, I'll, I'll fight him all if I need to. So uh, that's me on a Sunday. I know a little bit long rambling for an iPhone video, but we didn't have any footage this week. But it's gonna be worth it, man. Thanks for watching the Alan Belcher Video Blog Show. Our sponsors this week were ProMMATraining.com and CombatCorner.com.